before I do let you go, I did I did want to talk to you a little bit about football. So this, so this so this ayahuasca helped with the thirteen <laughs> seconds or not? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking right it did that shit passed bro I yeah, forgot about yeah, that yeah. damn that's real forgot yeah, about yeah, that, that, that was a that was a tough time right there sure was you it know sure was it's uh obviously you know the Chiefs has done have, has done a lot of incredible work Pat Mahomes Andy Reid and um I, I try to tell people all the time you know sports is more about j- more than just one side of the ball or one player and everybody always says it's, you know, it's a, they, they always have their person to blame. And usually it's the people that have never played sports, like myself, Absolutely. right? But I, I learned a long time ago just to kind of like let it go. There's no reason for me to try to figure it out uh, because it's, it's a collective. There's injuries, uh, yeah. you know, things that happen all over the place that people can and cannot see. You know, you're, you're sharing some of those things today, yeah. like some of the things you're going through that you're not always going to be present on game day. You know, and, and sometimes, uh, you know, we had uh, Brandon Marshall here and Brandon Marshall's mm-hmm. like a lot of people will look at the quarterbacks and just blame the quarterbacks all the mm-hmm. time. But they're not knowing that the wide receivers actually running the wrong route, right. you know, or, or messed up the route because they don't know how to run the route. So they, they, they took two extra steps. It's an interception. They're like, oh, this quarterback sucks. And really, they just don't have the, yeah, they don't have the wide they receivers, know. you know, right. it's like, damn, that's 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 a different way to look at it. But w- when you do look back at that, that 13 seconds, do you. Like, do you blame yourself or blame the team or anything for that? You know, it was a it was a combination of just like a lot of things, and then you could like feel the the shit ball start rolling almost like just slowly down the hill, like uh, you know, and you wanna you wanna stop it, you wanna try to make a glitch in it, you wanna try to shake something up in it, and just you know, there's a there's a scene in the movie uh, um, Replacements where uh, Keanu Reeves talks about quicksand, and he's I don't know if y'all remember that scene where he talks about you know the harder you know you're in a game and you know everything's going your way and then all of a sudden you basically get hit in the mouth and like you know the harder you try to get out of the uh, and you know now you're basically you get hit in the mouth and you're in quicksand and the harder you try to get out the deeper you sink. And that almost just seemed like that whole situation from you know, from getting the ball back with, with that much time, like without squibbing the ball. And then you, you, you give up a, a freaking screen that goes 30 yards down the field to Tyreek. And, you know, we're just playing soft zone and you, you can look back and you look at the, 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 the NFL films and you just see really how, how much more like connected and, and I mean, just, they were just way better than us in that time in that moment like they've been there before they you know it was so subtle between Kelsey and Travis to just take a step inside and see the defense that we were playing which you know I I still don't understand the defense that was really necessarily called in that time either but we're playing it and you know they make a check and run a little bang skinny post right over the middle where there's no defenders and now they have time to kick a field goal. And then you just, it's just like the, just kept started rolling and you just couldn't stop it, bro. And it was, um, you know, uh, uh, it was one of those that was hard to swallow, but I definitely, definitely put that in my back pocket. So just, yeah. Yeah. So, so like the way, the way I viewed it, right. Not, not a, again, I'm not in the game, so I can't really call it, but I feel like, uh, Leslie Frazier played those types of defenses often. Um, so that that's kind of how I viewed it. I don't know if I'm tripping by thinking that because, you know, obviously there's McDermott out there. I don't know who's really calling the police. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can point fingers here and there and and elsewhere, man. It was honestly that entire – it was just an entire operation. There's really not one finger that you can, that you can point um, at all um, because it was just the entire end of our game operation that was not – that wasn't good enough. It wasn't, to be honest, it might not have been good enough to be one of the, the top colleges in the, in the in the country at that time, just the way that happened, yeah. right? I mean, that just, that just shouldn't happen, um, you know, and then we all made mistakes in that moment. And again, there shouldn't be one person to blame or the other. Like, I take ownership and mm-hmm. in, in making mistakes in those moments, and everybody made mistakes in those moments, and that was just their – the better team then they've been the better team for the most part of the last couple of years, obviously we beat them a couple of times in, in the, in the regular season, but ultimately when it comes down, comes down to it, you know, that's a very connected team. And you talk about like 
being one. That's how teams win championships is is being that one nucleus, being on that same sheet of music and you know, and understanding the polarity, you know, being able to handle, you know, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. That's that, that swing is going to shift. And it's, it's knowing that the swing is shifting is being aware that the swing is shifting and allowing yourself to say, okay, the swing is shifting. Now let's see, let's get, let's swing the shift back. Let's not panic. Let's not move our minds in a motherfucking, in a, in a fucking frenzy, you know? Yeah. The it's swinging back. And so you're like, Oh shit, it's fucking swinging yeah. back. Oh, what the fuck we do? Oh yeah. shit. Oh shit. No, like, Hey, it's swinging. Yeah. Like we got it. We yeah. good. You know, collectively, like, let's go. We good. We feel it. That's what they, that's what they've done. Well, they've been able to feel that momentum shift and, and then when they when they swing back, like when they see that momentum and they see it shifting back, when they swing back, it only swings back higher. So they fucking taking off now. I'm just leaving your ass in the dust. So now, now when I seen when I watch our games, I see you know the the three cornerstones for me on defense: Matt Milano, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. When I'm watching the game, I, I know that if one of these guys are missing. You know, we're like it to me. It's like there's command missing. I don't know how many other voices again are in the in the locker room. No hide, no Poyer. Right, you're you're in there as a veteran, leading a leading a group of guys in that locker room, that inevitably become the replacement. Right, <laughs> is is that tough for you knowing that like this is kind of you're you're almost like training your replacement out there oh no no absolutely not (laughs) um i never saw it like that you know it's not and it shouldn't be like that right like you know i'm here playing a game that i love and i understand this is a business and like moves are going to be made but like me and taylor i'm so thankful that he came and was on that team for the year and the the ability his trust in me and his, I mean, bro, by the end of the year, we were in the meditation room playing sound bowls together. Like right. we were, we got tapped in together on a deep, deep level of, you know, understanding through frequencies and vibrations and meditation. And like, he was very interested in all of that. Um, and so I just planted the seeds and he came in one day, heard me playing the bowls and wanted to sit in. So like, bro, me and him, man, it's, it's been cool to get to know him and I'm super thankful or I'm super, uh, um, happy for him and his family um, to be there in Buffalo, and um, and and you know, and, and essentially, you know, it's his it's his job, it's his opportunity. And again, you know, he's gonna do whatever he wants to do with it. And I know he's gonna be successful. And you got a great player who's got you know nose for the rock. He likes to find the rock and likes to hit. Um, you know, I hope he does. I hope he does an amazing job over there. And if you ever had any questions besides when we play him, it's like I'm all ears. You know what I mean? Like I'm all ears. Yeah, and 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 for me again, the reason I was mentioning that is because I'm as a fan fearful. Like this was the thing I told you. This is the part that scared me. I'm watching when when we're playing Miami. If Jordan Poyer doesn't play, I don't think we're winning, right? And we did it. It was just that simple. You didn't play, we didn't win. And you know, like the the fans are talking shit to me and I'm like, are you cool? You can't talk shit because Poyer wasn't out there. So I don't even, I'm not even going to listen to you. You know what I mean? I'm at the stadium walking home. You know what I mean? Well, what are you guys, what, what are we going to do here? You guys won a regular season game early in the year. What do you want? Like, is there confetti that you guys want to drop from the stands or whatever? Like, come on, just wait, just wait till Poyer's back out there. We'll see, we'll see how the game is. You know, now,